Uh, from what I understand, the devs said they're not doing DLC for this game. So unlike part one, there was a Yuffie DLC. A Sid, I'm sorry, a Vincent DLC seems very likely, right? Uh, but no, no, no kidding, the devs said months ago that they're not doing a story DLC for this game. They are working on part three. And they've already said several things about development for part three, it's already going. So, uh, you know, that's a bit better, right? That's probably better, that's probably a better idea for them to get part three out earlier than to delay it by splitting time up and working on DLC and stuff like that. So that makes sense. Maybe for part three, there could be DLC, who knows? Who knows? Dirge Remaster, you keep hoping for that, chat. Okay. Uh, I was going down this way in Gongaga, and I didn't even know what to expect down here, dude. Like, this general direction uh, just had a bunch of unexplored stuff, and I was like, ooh, what the hell is over here? Kate Sith is not an easy character to play. Seems very good, but you have to get the hang of how Kate Sith plays. It is quite dark. Oh, there's just an end closed door. <laughs> Shit. Thought I was discovering the world over here, man. It's just a closed door. Kate, Kate's kind of hard to use. You can't play him like any other traditional character. Mobility is very weird, too. RNG skills and stuff. Yeah, they made like a crazy, gorgeous vertical jungle out here. Something else. Something else. It would be, it would make sense that we get an actual another ranged character, you know? Barret is not like a, well, Vincent's a weird hybrid, right? Because his limit is so bizarre. Chicken stop. Yuffie is really good range, but she's also a hybrid ranged character, you know? We only have one actual ranged character in the whole game, and it's Barret. You know, Barret is just a ranged character. What? Excuse me. I think we need to travel to live stream in part three. Uh, I don't think I'm really comfortable talking about part three until I finish part two too much, to be real. Well, that's true. Aerith is an entirely ranged character. Yeah, you're right. Completely forgot about Aerith since Tifa exists. Dang, that's crazy. Things are dying, man. Things are dying. All right, I think I have visited a little bit of this area, so let's start going down here. It, unless this, this place is kind of like labyrinth-like, and I think it might be. It might be kind of labyrinth-like where you have to go like zigzag to get through it. Or not. No, there's, a, there's just a pathway. Dude, there's like a jungle chocobo theme? <clears throat> like a jungle? Yo, Paradox, thank you. Went to finish the story. Go back and react to the trailer you had to hide from. I watched it today, and boy, I'm glad I didn't before playing. Yeah, you know, I will. There'll be a lot to do. Uh. What is down here? We also got to check on stuff we can make. What? Frogs. 
I ain't need to fight no more frogs. Huh. Okay. All right. We've uncovered a bit of this land. Um, let's just make this area over here a priority. Uh, Chocobo travel here. Huh. Jeez. Okay. Chill, you freaking frog. Deal with that. Okay. Why am I so messed up? Should have really rested at that chicken stop. Oregano. Oh, this definitely has to be it. Stuck up here in the mountain. This has to be it. Yeah. The divine sanctuaries of Gungaga hold knowledge of Kujata. According to folklore, this fantastical being is the tutelary of the forest. Thus, when disaster struck the Mako reactor, Many believed it the result of Kujata's bestial wrath. They were right. <laughs> yeah, we tried Kujata at max level. I had to really start building some uh, really specific kits to beat him if we were going to do it. Some really specific, like, builds. Because at max, at max health, he was quite hard. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. The bull. <clears throat> Yo, Sauce, thanks for the three months. Uh, AK Shea, thanks for the tier one mystical gloomy Rosa Blackwind. You went 024, Unreal Fury. Nobles, Droom, Mileson, and Nick Waddick. Appreciate it, dudes. And Dub Live. Appreciate it. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. And also even stand a chance of fighting it. Oh my. Okay. Proto Relic quest in the previous one, we are locked off. We got a couple uh, side quests to check out in Gongaga. Chelsea thank you. Heck does that go, dog? Oh, I just want to know. Huh? Yeah, Gajata was a little weird looking in the old game. A little weird looking. Yo, Crazy Gender, thank you. Damn, Corey, thanks for the 50, dude, because of the remake playthrough. And bought a PS5 last week just to rebirth 50 hours later, and it's been absolutely worth it. Thanks for pushing me into this rabbit hole. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't want to go too deep down the FF7 rabbit hole. Trust me, you can ignore... Uh, most of the compilation of Final Fantasy VII stuff. Even though it's all canon. They're building it all into this game is what it feels like. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Not all of it is 100% necessary. Bunch of obtainables and unobtainables? Huh? Whoa, what is with this camera angle, brother? Huh? Oh no. Whoa. They really zoom our asses out over here. 
Weird. Okay, well this is just back over here. I didn't realize you can go up that whole thing. Kinda sick. Uh, so... I mean, to be real, it looks like the majority of this map, like, enters from here or here, and then it zigzags all the way around over here, or goes up this way, right, between these different areas, then down and around, and it looks like there's natural landmass that is sort of blocking our ability to continue. And then it clearly opens up a ton down here. So it, like, starts off in a branching path. Uh, very odd. Right, very odd. Let me see. Let's just go back to town. Okay. Grandma Hen's request. Okay. Do it. Enjoy your stay with us. Damn, Chadley, you're dude. I just realized I have a ton of fights I have to do. You would like to use it to develop materia? Oh. Oh. Oh man. So synergy support only seems as good as the ability to. No, is it just? I wonder. I wonder how much that stat modifier works, where it, do both characters need synergy support? Or is it just whoever has the synergy support is going to be badass with synergy attacks? Probably the second, right? That seems very good. Steel limit? That seems really good. Counter Nova, thank you. Magic focus seems damn good. Um... Uh, this is Quake. I'll take that. I haven't seen Quake at all. And I actually have Lightning maxed out. Dang, we did it. Uh, max that shit out. I lost my elemental. Did I not? I think I did. Yeah, Cloud was sitting on Elemental. Okay, that's just not cool with me, man. Uh, remove, swap, remove, Elemental, first strike, and let's put Quake. What's going on? Yo, Butthead Squid, thank you for the 69 bucks, dude. Holy crap. Uh, thank you. Counter Nova again, thank you for the bits. Valfora, Frozen John. Arg. Thanks for the Prime. Jeez. Appreciate that, butthead squid. That's super nice of you, dude. Did I want petrify? Yeah. Let's work with that. Okay. I wish you all the best in your ongoing. We gotta learn the ability on this down. weapon too, because we have to switch back. Wow. This weapon is kind of like Remember that you not great. Some of these I strongly suggest collecting all that you find. As they will be a boon to our research efforts. Yeah, yeah, Chad, just shut up. I'm just trying to read this shit. Jada, one tier down. Vit up, strength up, AP up. Let's just try this really fast. Right? One power down. Um, Yuffie would be probably, probably pretty great for this. And Tifa, obviously, right? Tifa, obviously. Just for stagger. Let's just give this a shot. We tried this earlier and got kind of messed up. This might still be very hard. Yeah, you were... I needed poison is what I needed. Yeah. 
God. So I'm gonna wait to see what he turns into. Uh, we need wind now. Uh, abilities. That's actually wonderful. Zuffy can essentially handle this on her own. God. Okay, that sucks. But why don't you have healing on you? What happened here? God, dude. I don't know when to block. Oof. Uh, windstorm? Well, that sucks. Woke up right into that. That's right. Lightning is like busted. It's so hard to do anything about it. Icy impulse, electric impulse. Are you still lightning up? Lightninged up? You're not. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. We have to put the right stuff on. I need I need somebody to have uh, probably a magnify materia of some kind. Uh, challenge. Close. Yeah, it still is going to require a loadout. Analyzing Not going to be able just to jump in and do stuff. We were able to do that with Alexander. Just, like, play it out. Aerith, what do you have? Lightning and wind. What is Cloud sitting at? Man. I'm tempted to bring Aerith... Yuffie and Cloud, to be honest. This Tifa on Ice Autocast and Barrier. Man, that ain't terrible. Cloud, you need poison materia, for God's sake. I don't need assess. I need poison. I need this fool to be poisoned. The Stranded, thank you. Yeah, Red, you have it, I know. It's maxed out, though. Oh, that's why I didn't do it, because the elemental... Hang up. Welcome back to the stage of uh, remove. Move. Swap. This is going to be tough, because if you do an elemental on Yuffie, it could be one or the other. And it could actually mess it up. They don't, it doesn't always start off with lightning. It's completely random. So... Slightly nervous about this? Oh my god, I have two... No, I only have one Magnify Materia. Right. So, you can swap the Ninjutsu out right. But, you know, I have a plan. I'm using, I'm thick braining this. I'm already making new builds as we, uh, as we go. Autocast healing is very good. Move steadfast fast block. Revival. Check this out. Level boost revival. Now we have a rise. And that's hella good. I can probably throw a chakra on you too. Yeah, let's go with... Wait a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
you have white wind. So I don't need to worry about it. You have white wind. I don't need to worry. I'll take stuff like luck up, spirit up. Steadfast block, you know? I'll take these things. Welcome back to the stage of history. Huh? Revival. Ice. Vind. It's like barrier. Yeah. To the stage of history. And Aerith, you know what? Let's swap that around. Phoenix Materia on you. And like Titan Materia on Okay. Let's give it a shot. Wonder where we'll meet next. So many quiet, Chadley. I'm trying to talk to you. Quiet, Chadley. How goes the you be quiet. The world, should you require assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay. Kujada. One power down. If we can get all the ward stuff up for Aerith, we should be good. Yeah, shut up so I can talk to you, man. Oh my god, I tried to figure out the timing of his attack. It did not work out. You know what I should do during that? I should switch characters. I honestly should. Bring this out immediately. Fire. You will you not have by uh guaranteed to hit. I don't friggin' believe it, man. lost the dang resistance. Wow, I don't know if that's actually blockable. We're already at synergy ability. Increase potency of the next stagger, raise limit levels. Let's do this. Spells. 
Are you poisoned? Now you're immune to that. Oh, great. So I need to... Do windy shit. Oh my god, man. So it's my turn? There's more to me than me. Okay, let's get Cloud up. Son of a bitch! It's only in fire form. Okay, so now we need to do this. You already lose his weakness? Dang, dude. Staggering them from weakness is crazy tough. Seems really hard. Fire. Wow. Never any and never any aid to be on Aerith, I swear. Uh, ice. I didn't get him out of it. Oh, does Prime Mode actually run out? Oh my god, it does. Dear God. Let's dance, asshole. No! I don't think it came on off in time. All right. Fair enough. That's fair. And by fair, I mean... That's fair. We are all definitely dead. Um, dude, it seems so difficult to actually stun them out of their weakness. To get them to a point where, okay, we, we're getting them to stagger out of their weakness is very hard. Yeah, Aga will take up like half the MP bar of a character. But I am appreciating this challenge. Oh, you bitch. God. Okay. Cloud, what did you got? You got a bio him. Don't overdo it. Here goes. This is stable. Cut. You won't regret this. Get going. Here I go. Hit the jet block. Uh -uh. No way. Take it over. Good. It's 
Okay. First, Aerith used healing. God damn, dude. Let's go. Why are you going after fucking Aerith? That did so much goddamn damage. What is Firework Blend? Does it do anything outside of damage? Oh, this raises our limit levels. Okay. So, um... Possibly needing to... I'm trying to debate what I can do here. Cure on herself. Yeah, I like it. No way, brother! Only the second enfeeblement, who is uh, the second uh, buff. So. So we're okay. Raise on Aerith. Damn it. There's the ice. No! You already tried disastering? God damn it.
God, dude, it, it immediately went into it. Like, didn't even give me a chance. As soon as you, like, see the second one, you have to do it. All right. Good to know. It's super fast. Cloud is not really alive, though. Okay, this is bad. How did Cloud die this time? And Aerith is just fine? Oh, she got back up from um, Arise. Dumbass. Couldn't hit it. Just let me get up into this, why don't you? Dude, this is fucking balls. Try to get the timing. Damn it, brother. Good timing, Cloud. Path to victory chat. We're back in this shit. Raises our limit levels. We've already done that. Let's do Fire Ninjutsu. That just gets smacked around. Dude, you did not just do that. You did not. Show you what I can do. You can do it under one stop. 
This is the last one. There we go. Oh my God, dude. Out of MP, out of everything. Jesus, that was a fight, man. Holy crap. Shit was not easy. Six straight minutes or seven straight minutes of that shit. Holy hell, that was mad close. Woo! I'm okay. Excellent work reigning in Kujata. To think that anyone could tame a beast of so many affinities. I cannot say where this wild steed might lead you, but I encourage you to find That out. fight was way harder compared to the other ones, yeah. At even one tier down. Way harder. Uh, infinite MP from Synergy would have been good, but I don't know if I have any of those yet. I had, like, the ATB one, I had the Limit Break one, I had the Stagger one, but I was like, do I have one that gives me MP bonuses? And I just don't think I did. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm don't talk to me anymore, Chadley. Always happy to help. Yeah, Tifa had it, right? Maybe it was Aerith and, and uh, Yuffie had the MP one. You almost have to use those for those longer fights. Chicken? Say, can you spare a minute? No! Not really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that... I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes. I tell you, all this craziness is enough to drive a fool. Don't know about this quest. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> so we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Best quest until the game in the game. I disagree. They love the sound of this here clanger. Use it, and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Huh? Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. How many chickens are we talking about? What is this? <laughs> what? Lure the chickens? Grab the chicken, bro. Slowly move backwards as you pull the clangor along. If a chicken gets too close, L2 would yank it back to the bird's reach. What the hell? Give them the proper love and care, and they'll love you right back. Huh? Hey, you freaking chicken. Get out of here. Yeah. It got away. This is... This is... what? Freak chicken. How far we need to go, huh? Hey man, I can't see backwards. I can't see behind me, bro. No! Okay. Red, these are, these better be close. You better be telling me these chickens are close. Most valuable side quest in Final Fantasy history here. Chick. All right. The chicken gets distracted. Stop moving. Wait for it to go to focus. Piece of 
shit. <gasps> I was already pressing the button, brother. Shit chicken. Look at him go faster, like a piece of shit. My, my, what a trek you must have made to get here. My god, lady, get the hell out of the way. Dude, look at this fucking chicken. My god, two meters. We're here. Grab your goddamn chicken. Grab it! Welcome home, my pretty dearest. The reward for this better be deep. When a chicken is about to charge, press L2 to yank it, just in time to continue. Oh my God. We're adding mechanics. Let's stop adding mechanics here. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Think of everything to top up the old battery. Crazy ass chicken. Oh my God. I looked away for a second and it bum rushed. I'm going to grab this bird by the neck. Just like holding it like this. Here's your chicken. Oh my god! Ooh, Red careful. got stuck on. This is stupid. This shit is stupid. Look at that. Look at them just get like a speed boost. Who's behind me? No one better be behind me. This dickhead's behind me. Dude, what do I have to do? I need a run button. I know shit need a run button. I can't see what's behind me, man. Okay. Doesn't have to go all the way back. Thank God. I see, I see, I see. So once you once you trigger it, it goes away. God damn. Chicken mechanics. Do the rush, just do the rush. Oh my god, it's not doing the rush. Lady, get out of the way. No! Oh, dude. Pick that goddamn chicken up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up! Pick it up. Please, dear God. I don't believe you, lady. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Pete, I was so worried about you. This is such a trolley quest. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? I don't want to know. Midgar. Italy ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. The airfield? No, 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 no. This ain't worth it, Red. Red, this isn't worth it. Buddy, Notice hold up. Catman dog, this is not worth it. We don't... 
Whatever the reward is, Red, it's not... <gasps> we don't need to do this, bro. We don't need to do this. Oh my god. Turn back. Red, please don't do this to me. So, what are Free Flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free Flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. That our man gives him the finger as he flies by. There for is. Real? Sounds like my kind of guy. There is no way you want me to drag this chicken from like six miles away. There is no way. I'll, let me fight it. No. It's a long way back to town. Careful now. Holy sweet Jesus Christ. Lure the chicken back to Midgar. I can't. Game, I can't. You can't. There has to be aware. Game has to be aware. Game has to be aware about all this shit, dude. Game has been weirdly self-aware about stuff like this the entire time. There's no way you're actually gonna make me do this. There's no way. This is the most trolly ass side quest I've ever seen in this game. Uh-oh. Focus. All right. Gotcha. Deal with that. I'm getting my ass kicked over here. Holy mother of God. This is the craziest chicken. And it's dodging everything? What are you? Weakness is ice. About to die. It did it just dodge? I think it did. I think it no shit. Just dodged the ice attack. It did. I don't believe it. Home with all haste. <laughs> speak chicken? More or less. 
They were quite eager. You speak chicken. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should see. Here's how. Here's how I knew something was off. Right? This game has already exuded a quality amount throughout the majority of its its story and play that I'm like, there is no way they're gonna make me go through this. There's no way. In remake part one, maybe. All right? I might've had to drag that whole ass chicken the entire way. In that game, they're like, hey, we can make them drag this whole thing through like the slums. We could do that. In this game, it's like, uh, this is the most trolly quest in the world. There is no way you're making me drag this chicken in this funky, I can't see behind me mission. There is no way, and yeah. Since you're here, they're aware. I need your help. It's it was legit funny. Please guide me to greatness. I'm so Tetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know, telling everyone how you turned some state of the art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed it. Chat, the quest isn't going anywhere. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Unless you want to get Got timed out for a couple crowd, weeks. You know? Just wondering. Just curious. He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days. And I want to do my part. And you know, yeah, all the reactors are producing more monsters. Cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please, I'm begging you. Huh? Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please. Train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple. Meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> Dude, I need a bunch. We're gonna be fighting things. I'm gonna need a bench. This dynamic mode is really starting to kick in. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Frogs? Oh, fiend. Please. Help Sosetsu way. strike the enemy three times. Pressure an enemy. Don't let Sosetsu fall in battle. What's the pressure here? Elemental weakness? Son of a bitch. A goddamn frog! And I'm poisoned! And I'm a frog! Kiss my ass, I'm a frog. Okay. That bubble is still there. How funny.
Okay. Let's cram all these up. Like the saying goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. I like that most side quests have had interesting gimmicks and haven't been just like, hey, I don't know if there's been any side quest that is just, yo, go take this there, right? I I don't, I'm trying to think if there is one that is like as straightforward as that. There, every side quest has essentially had some crazy mini game or some alteration to game plan. Okay, stagger an enemy, pressure an enemy twice, pressure and stagger, okay. Don't overdo it. God damn it, dude. All right. Taking over. Uh, I have not pressured an enemy yet. That was goofy. Didn't get pressured. I thought it was, uh... Please, Master. Huh. Let me try again. Didn't get pressured. I thought it was for the elemental weakness. Yeah, let's try, let's retry that. Down. Oh, pressure an enemy twice. Oh, oh. I have to do it twice. Show me how it's done. We won't hold back. second pressure. What the hell? I thought I did. Yikes, man. This is very weird. The toughest part is that they have low health, so I think the best thing I can do here is use Yuffie and then uh, have her immediately go to Ice Buff and just go from there. Because Cloud's Blizzard is doing too much damage. It's taking down the... Uh, it's taking down the life bar. Don't overdo it. You're in good hands now. Okay. Just look at this frog. Look at this bitch. He tried to get me. I think everything is weak to ice here. Yeah. It's not working. Blown away. Actually, not working. I don't get it. I'm a goddamn frog. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they are waiting to ambush prey will pressure them. Oh! Oh, it's different for these guys. It isn't. I was. I think I was reading the frog. Restart. Yeah, I was reading the frog. It's ambush. Yeah. I. When, as soon as I see. Uh, as soon as I see it.
I, I, I targeted the frog thinking it was the dinosaur. And I was like, okay. elemental weakness. Got it. No problem. Dude, where are we going? This is only your first step on the long Cloud is so sick in this game. He's so much fun. Um, let's also do this a little bit. Umbral Blade is pretty fun. And it looks amazing. That also really helps. It's a cool ass looking sword, you know? Stagger an enemy. Right. That's what those things do. Um, question actually asking here. When you equip a weapon, does it have an inherent better ability to it outside of the one that you learn? Or once you learn it, that's kind of it, and it gets attached to all the other weapons. Like, does this one, like, do just better against staggered enemies or anything? Are they, like, is there, instead of just being proficiency bonus? I don't think so, right? Yeah, it's just, like, stats. It's only when learning the ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just stats. Wow, I wonder if this would work with elemental. And it does not. <laughs> materia, cleansing materia. Poison. You had a uh, precision defense and first strike. Uh, Um, I would do warding right here, right? Biorga. What other greens would be good in this situation? Poison, petrify, gravity. Resistances is slow and stop. Resistance is instant death. Um, I guess I'll just stick with poison. We'll just do warding materia. Seems good. Okay, I need you to do something. Uh, have I learned your iron megaphone thing yet? I did. So we can actually go back to something that has some fairly decent stats. Grants immunity to Toad. Well, that's helpful. Luck, prayer, morph, steel. Morph? Morph? I haven't really found a good reason to morph things yet, to be completely honest. I should give you chakra. Or prayer, right? Let's max out another chakra. Yeah, morph is weird. It never works for me. I have not actually gotten it to, to function. But I think it's because I've tried to morph enemies that are unmorphable. So it's just like, no, this doesn't work here. I'm like, oh. Okay. Let's do autocast healing. Damn, I really maxed out all of these autocasts, did I not? Uh, auto unique weapon ability. You need to do it with the health as well. Well, obviously, we've done that. It just doesn't give, you, give us anything. And sometimes I think it's because the enemy does not have anything to morph into. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, just give us Magnify. It's got to level up Magnify a whole bunch. Well, this is a chunk of dudes.
it gave me all of them. Oh my God. Oh, dang. Okay. One fire ability. Hit everybody at the same time. Yeah, Disorder being the air launcher, it's your aerial rave starter. It's amazing. I love that. It, ma it makes Disorder such a better move. No chat, we're losing an hour tonight, but we're also gaining back the day. So this is a, this is like a holiday to me. Tonight's like a holiday. Yeah, Disorder on part one's okay. Uh, and this one, it's hella good. The sun returns. This is kind of a fun quest. What's going on here, dude? We we made it? <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, because that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Whoa. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. And mind. Start. By training. You're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. <laughs> This is hilarious. This is so sweet. It's so funny. It's only making fun of the fact that Zach always did squats. You cramping up? Weird alpha dunks? Get back. Those are big, brother. Oh my god, dude, what are you guys? Weakness is fire, I have a plan. <laughs> that went exactly that was exactly what I thought would happen right that went pretty much exactly what I thought very good <laughs> Yuffie just offs herself. I thought I could target it at an enemy, so I just did it, and she just offed herself. <laughs> Didn't give a shit about anybody in the party but her. Ah, shit, man. All right. This is going very poorly. Cloud's dead again. This always happens, dude. Jesus Christ, everybody's fucking toast. I can't see shit, dude. Did Cloud just die again? Oh my god, he's asleep. I don't believe it. Oh 
my god, dude! When are you? Okay. I don't understand what how that guy just got knocked out, but whatever. This is this is a fight. This is definitely a fight. give this another shot right let's give this another shot we kind of got off on the wrong foot here we holy mother of god it? just restart it there's no reason to play it out i hope you've got more in you because that ain't there's no reason to play this out all right Damn, Cloud, are you just sitting going over there getting fucked up by that dude? You are. You actually are. Um, exploiting the elemental weakness will draw their ire. After some time passes, they begin to rest, inflicting enough damage when they are resting will pressure them. This bitch just shows up out of nowhere. Dude. I'm dead again. The asshole can't stay alive. Uh... I got it by something. Yuffie, are you not no longer doing what thing you should be doing? This healing breeze is not going nearly fast enough. God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! He won't stop! Healing Breeze is not doing what it should be doing. These elephants do not give a shit. Uh, they don't give a shit about anything. Hardest fight in the game so far. Fuck you. Oh my god, they just don't give a shit! You only fight so many of them, man. So now I have two to actually get Cloud back up. 
we can just get killed again. Dude, leave me the fuck alone! I can't believe it, man. Hardest goddamn fight in the game. Hardest goddamn fight in the game. I haven't even been able to use any synergy abilities because I can't. They have like the equalest amount of health. Sweet Jesus Christ. So, Zebu Setsu, whatever, died. I go and make a complete fool of myself. We'll fix it. I wonder if I've been going about this whole thing the wrong way. Sorry, I'm gonna go on ahead. Around this point is when you notice dynamic really started to kick in as well. Uh, it's pr it's pretty hard now. What about my materia? I noticed the last few fights have been very hard. Um, God damn. God damn. Can we even restart it? Probably not. Right? Probably not. All right. No, no, no. We can't. It's over. Um, holy shit. Those elephants were fucking pissed. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. No. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member. So it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Cisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield. And under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just, I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. As you watch the me get decked around by elephants. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud, Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. How considerate after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two? Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! I am severely damaged after that quest. Like, severely damaged. Let's go talk to some chickens. That'll make it better. My, my, what a trip. It's a long 
Pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. <laughs> Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippily. <gasps> <laughs> if I hadn't. <laughs> well, we all gotta eat? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even heal me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Should have healed me. What is this new thing we got? Lucky amulet? Increases luck by 10, of course. Look at our free stay at Cisne's. Oh, you're right. That's the OG's death music. Wow, I didn't put that together. I thought that was the sleeping music for a second because it's sort of similar. No, no, that's the sound. That was the theme when you die in OG FF7. Wow, it's the death theme for the chickens. The game over music. That's friggin' funny. <laughs> that shit is... That shit is funny. <laughs> wow. Game over for this chicken. Uh, man. Dude's gotta eat. That quest ended up being great. Yeah. That chicken quest ended up being quite good. More stuff about the notice board? This open up or something? Oh, is that Cisne? Huh? Cooking happened. Watch your feet. What am I gonna do about you? Wow, that's a smell. <coughs> we should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. Why does the kitchen look like a crime scene? Put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad Why does the kitchen look like a crime scene? Ya. Gungaga mushroom soup. It smells pretty good all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. That's the problem. It needs something, but I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms to do the trick. Or a hunk of cactuar meat. Let's not. Final help. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably part of the Oh, we know where that guy is. Selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of his stuff for me? Yeah, we, we actually passed by that dude on the way in here. Oh, he's right here. There's a dog? What a sweet boy you were for staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Uh, 
Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's <laughs> He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. Cute. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's Field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Follow Melon. Bow wow wow. Oh my god, dog quest. Dog quest number two. Puppy, slow down, you're so fast. Oh, need to actually do what I said. Oh, no fights this time, okay. Mad Gab, thank you. Today. Good? Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by Dang the music you got on, you're city folk. Ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to youngins who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff, but you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is, how it can thrive and spread its roots deep, grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. Huh. We ain't seen Bork. any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back? We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup to the next level. What'd you call me? You grow on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. The aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. Me? Mon Gaga. The mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're going to want to savor it. The proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Follow the melon. More Borkin. Bork, 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 bork. Yeah, I don't know why that 26 year old man trusts me with his dog, but okay. Quick. Nice and quick.
Something leveled up. Steadfast block, that's great. Yo, Camcon, thanks for the prime. Oh my god, some mystery jellyfish? What the hell? Gotta do it. We need to fire. Okay. Hang back. Call the kids on now. Let's go. Let's finish this. No. Dude, we can't hit you. Burn. No. Don't overdo it. So much stuff on Yuffie. So, Yuffie has so many abilities because of enemy skill. Oh, Aerith's already here. She already knew. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these auto match Torkin's picture. That be it. Feels like a waste to grind him up. Nah. Where's the dog going? To the next one? Melon. What's up, dog? So you're telling me that they're somewhere in here, Melon. Is that what you're saying? They're just somewhere in here? Somewhere up in here. I believe that's it. Oh, God. one we want. And then this one? Yep. Nailed it. Alright. I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them now. Fast travels now available. So ride your chocobo to Magon Hill. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. It's all the way down here. Maganga. Okay. I have to go up. I am probably going to have to cross that friggin' bridge, aren't I? Probably. 
Unless. Big balls. Yep, I am. Hey, man. I gotta start crafting some stuff really bad. Let's uh, make it adrenaline because it's expensive. And we can't. That's good. And we can't make that either. It's good. Just make that. Damn, the witch's armlet. Spirit bound armlet? Damn, boy. Cal Vid and Spirit by 30. I think I've already made one of those, right? No, I didn't. I was done with the Tonberry robe. That's quite good. Okay. Um, let's make some mega potions. Need some more planet splendor. Okay. Too dark. <laughs> We're here. We're here. Made it. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Of course. Oh my god. Wait, what? Choco Yeet. Five mock medals, dang. Found ya. Behold, the Magunga mushroom. Note its mushroom like qualities. Just gotta be very careful. Plucking fungi. Damn, I'm playing Avatar over here. Plucking fungi requires not only a green thumb, but a delicate touch as well. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with L. The portion with the most should give should be tugged first. The portion with the least should be tugged last. Find the correct order to cleanly pluck the mushroom from the ground. Okay. Okay. View the tutorial again. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with the left stick, the portion with the most give should be tugged first, and I have to choose. So it's a pretty much the weakest to strongest? Yeah. Dude, I am barely feeling a difference. Like,
what? Somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. <laughs> What was that? You were leading me towards something. Crazy bird. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Really? Need some climbing. Ready for me, you crazy bird? You're too crazy for me. Ow. Pretty in here. Life in Golgaga. This place seems to be teeming with it. All right. What do we got? Oh, we're still gathering ingredients. Oh, damn. We're not even done. Or maybe not? I'm gonna find out. Yeah, there are more Mongonga? Yeah, we need more. That was why the icon was showing up. Still. To do this first and then it'll lead us. Gotcha. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey. The F. Crazy ass jellyfish. You're dead. You're dead, jellyfish. Yeah, you have to whiff all the attacks to build the ATB. So you get fire and you just nuke it. 
Found another one. Into the sack it goes. So if this is working how I think it is. Medium weakness. Okay, that's the most weak. We go from the most weak to the most hard. Most weak. Medium weak. That's the that's the the hardest here. I'm going to say it's this one. Nailed it. Sensational picking, Mr. Merck. Yes. One I have done go. it. There's literally mini games in the Avatar game that's just like this. Mushroom. There's more. <laughs> I wonder where it's going. Good lord. Big jump. Hey, is that what is this where we just were? No way, right? Oh god. TB. You blocked it. I'm trying to actually do something cool here. Get him. With me. Okay. Keeps hitting the wrong person. Screw it. I've lost patience. I have lost patience. Targeting everybody else but the character I need. Oh my god, I found a bug. Game is ruined. The third and final. Let's not mess this up. Unplayable trash. Okay. That one's pretty loose. Okay, at least. Okay. That's the end. That's the second to end. This one's... Yeah. Yeah, I think it goes in order. So it's like, eh, and then, eh, and then, eh, and then, eh, yeah. I think it goes in order. Ah! Okay, so it's definitely, um, eh, and then, eh, and then, eh. And then, eh. And then, eh. Let's go. I had one chance to screw up. Let's go. Mushroom God. That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep. Looks like we're done done. 
Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Back we go. Fetching shrooms. Can. Am I ever gonna get this right? I think Torgan said that chocobos can sniff out the Magunga mushrooms, and Melon will lead us straight to the salt. Remember? Oh, if for all the ingredients I have. We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well. Since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. There's black smoke coming from it. Black smoke. inviting me over for dinner thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison apparently but as you can see I'm a sore loser cooking's never as easy as you think got that right didn't need to learn back in Midgar the company provided all our meals tasted like garbage though don't know how I stomach the stuff that bad huh <laughs> but what about the bomb berry flavor <laughs> Bomberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <sighs> Whoa there, might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. We got all the ingredients, dog. Absolutely perfect. I just know the bears are gonna love it. Great job. <laughs> Chakra earrings. That's kind of cool. Oh, I know. A souffle is probably not that tough. Chakra earrings, eh? Eh? I'm assuming the community board doesn't have anything that new. Yeah, it would be green if it did. Okay. Did all this shit. Damn. This a bar. That's a... Damn, the straight crushed grass. Okay. Straight crushed ass. So we should definitely head towards Damn, look at all this stuff. I'm worried if we region hop, we're not going to be able to get back. Kind of worried. But there's a ton of things to... Secret gym? Oh, this is the Zack thing. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Me? Uh, there's thing number one. 
Oh, son of a bitch, chicken. I need you to jump off these cliffs for me. That's nice. You can jump off quick. Hey, how the hell do I get up there? What? What the shit? Do I gotta yump up there from that? Oh no. Oh, I suddenly understand the challenge. I think I have to get to that. God, lost myself. So, most likely this what I got to get to. Most likely? Gonna find out. Damn, brother, how do we get up there? Oh no, am I about to get distracted by like a summon thing? Hold up, hold up. Doesn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. And there's a tiny chicken. Oh, good. Good. Give me the plume. It's not it. See, shit, Captain. I have to go, like, all the way around here, too. Uh -huh. I wonder if it's a chain. The mushroom daisy chain. Dude, what is this area? It's like... Nothing's in here. Man. There ain't nothing in here, man. Yeah, it's super easy to get lost in this zone. Super easy. I'm just trying to find my way to this checkpoint over here, and it's tough. So maybe we take number one. Big doinks. Son of a bitch! And we're back. And we're back. Maybe that is a crossing I gotta get to? Hey, wait a minute. You know what this reminds me of? The way you have to like traverse around this area? It reminds me of the ancient forest. Uh hey, I definitely assessed you guys already. Right here, man. 
Alrighty then. What happening right here? Things took place. They most certainly did. Still haven't thrown a gun. Give me, I need something that gives me the routes of all the jumping, the lily pads and shit. You need to break that down for me. the music change because we discover more of the zone. Hell yeah. Oh, it got hella nice. I think we're about to find the other tower over here, too. Or... Aha. Did I already do this? I believe I did. Yeah, this was one we already did. So nice. I believe the Coral Proto Lurlic is still locked. And I haven't had any inclination as far as it being unlocked. That wasn't it, dude. That was not it. Was not it. Oh man, the music. Holy crap. Is that the Mog House? Tis the Mog House. Tis a burb! Okay, I'll follow you. I see like six things in a general direction I need to do. Oregano. Here we go. Think. Very nice. some creature. Oh, this is totally a Marlboro. Yeah, we're in we're in the premium spot for it. We have not fought one yet. Chadley, be the dang map. It's funny how infrequently you run into Marlboros in the original game. They're like in some really specific areas. Which I guess is also kind of right. Get ready. 
ready. Gotcha. It's on you. Oh. <laughs> Damn, these these bugs are made of paper. They're so squishy. Hang out with the Moogles? Do you want to hang out with the Moogles? She asks. No Tomberry fights. Uh, you have definitely missed out if you haven't seen the 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 goddamn Tonberry fight. There's a Tonberry fight in this game where you have to steal his crown mechanically. Uh, it's like a it's a big quest. But it's kind of a deep quest, so I, I understand why you haven't seen it yet. But it's really cool. Please bring back all the mooglets for me, Koopo. God, what do I have to do now? Four minutes. Time limit. Minutes. One down. Oh, what the? Oh, they're goddamn bananas. Oh god, I've been mogged. Oh no. Goddamn bananas! I'm gonna kill you. I have two mogs on me. There's no... I don't believe you. Oh no! Oh no! You can only screw up three times. Okay. P.O.S. I need a gun for this. I need to scare him with like a shotgun. I can't believe I dodged all that. What? You POS. No, 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 no. No, you don't. I, you, that is so cheap. That is so cheap. I already got two down. All right, then these dudes are mad far away. It's gonna be a damn nightmare. God. God. Where's the last little bastard? I can't jump over that. That's the trick. <gasps> what are you doing to me? <laughs> no! I. Uh... You're leaving already. <sighs> Dynamic difficulties kicking in. first.
Hey, you little bastard. Okay. Get the hell in there. to go. Oh my god, you threw it right in front of me. Right in front of me. No way. No way. Why are you able to throw them from inside? That's so messed up. Okay. Not again. I didn't even see it. Do you want to stop? Oh yes, I des I desperately do. I desperately do. I desperately don't want it to keep going. No. Kiss my ass, game. Yeah, I'm getting the I'm getting these guys first because they are the most dangerous, straight up. Most dangerous. Get in there. What is this? What is this game? Get the hell in there! To perfect this thing now. Should be given like Kotor out of this. You would. What is happening? Dude, what is happening? Why aren't why did you not go in it? falling apart. Oh, I don't like you. How is this even happening? No. Okay, so close. But literally one billion things. God's sake, get in there. So much. Wow. Thank you so much for gathering all the Mooglets, Koopo. After Mog and Mag established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when, their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Koopo. I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure. Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo. I'm sure. Why do they look terrifying? Because they are terrifying. They're legit terrifying. Okay. Let's look around. 
We gotta find a way to get to this dang tower. Froheim. Okay, so I see... Bugs chill. Can I get a way up here? Can. Let's go. What the hell is okay? You better be leading me the right way. Nice. hours in the game, like five or six. Five or six times ten. Okay. Uh, over to map, please. Damn, we're way down here. Holy hell. So. Is there a... I'm saying, I'm going to assume this jump pad goes over to there. Let's try that. this. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, here we go. Are we a god? We're a god! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Kill you first. Me alike. <laughs> Hey, man. Out of MP. Time to burn. Deal with that. Leave it to me. You're gonna love this one. Hit. Oh, no. What the dumb hell? Honestly. Oh, my God. Let's finish this. Big swang. Hey man, get off me. Yeah, the FF7 Rebirth soundtrack will be available in some time. Within like a month or so. Oh my god, I have to go like up to go down this thing. Where's that grappling hook when you need it? April 19th, there you go. Oh, how funny. Okay. Music's doing a lot. More of area, please. Ooh, two fights. Okay. I'll most likely learn like bad breath from this area or something. Uh, okay, so...
Are we even headed in the right direction? Need to go like west? Yeah, it's this way. Get him. Let Kay Sith random it out. Um, yeah, we gotta go this way. So it looks like that. This area is pretty AF though, and tell you what. Oh, maybe we have to go up to go over? We do. We totally do. We totally do. We have to take that, that jump. Get it. We are back here. And yeah, we did this before when we were looking for the other stuff, but we couldn't move forward. So I'm assuming this is going to be big. Son of a bitch! It was not big. But it led me to this looking thing, so... This is how they're gonna do it. This be it. This be it. Here we go. Big doinks! We're up here now. Alright. Dang. Are we like moving into the mountains? We totally are. Environmental change. Well, this is like an old ruin. the hell is this place? Gongaga Ruins. It's on now. Take the lead. This one's a ghost. Come on! Dog. Don't overdo it. Leave it to me. Uh, roll the dice. Roll twice. Roll the dice again. Thank you for the random healing. Ooh. Kate Sith is absolute chaos, right? Kitty chaos. Wait, what the hell? What are these? What are... 
what do I got to do to get up this tower? Activate the tower. I'd love to. Yeah, Kate Sith is growing on me. Well, they did, you know, they did the, the tough stuff, which is making characters like Kate Sith and Yuffie pretty tolerable. Oh. Towers aren't just... These, what I kind of like about towers is that they're simple at the start and then they get kind of, like, weird. You know? They get kind of, like, funky. How you gotta get up them. So it isn't just like, oh, free tower. Let's just go repeat, rinse and repeat this same shit over and over again. No, it's like, oh, okay. Well, now they're getting kind of weird. Well, this is cool. No chicken! This isn't cool anymore! <gasps> oh dear god, I just want to get off the chicken. I just love this animation so much, that's it. That's all it is. Love this animation so much. are these ruins more fights more springs okay oh and you hi I didn't even see you some place to park my ass They really didn't have to have an area's music expand as you discover more of it. Like, you get more in tune with the area, so it gives you, like, new music. That's pretty crazy, dude. That's an extra step that you did not have to take, but I appreciate it. Alright, so we got, uh, way down here. Across right over there. Spring somewhere over here. Chicken time. Taking me, chicken. Whoa. Dog, where? The grotto? Sick. Damn, we're going in here. up in here. This place is gorgeous. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like how Gungaga is a lot different, you know? You have to like solve puzzles to get from one place to the other. I think the only thing that's like taking a long time for me is climbing up and down ropes, you know? I wish that- I wish that somehow went faster. But... I'm really digging how different the area is. Cloud, 
I can understand people that don't Upon like this area. Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. New gear. It's hidden within overgrown ruins. If my readings are correct, these mysterious structures predate even the Republic. Goodness, what an adventure. Shut up, Chadley. Yo, Omnicide, thanks for the tier three, dude. Jeez. I want to fight some enemies in here. Jeez, sometimes the visuals inside caves, dude, look awesome. Whoa, where the shit? Where in the shit is an old jacked up harbor? Huh. Can we go in there? The ocean! Found the beach. Uh, do we go left or right? Slightly curious. We're here, so we might as well check it out. Them's frogs? Them's frogs. The frogs like grow into big plants? That's so creepy. Wait a minute. Is this thing on top of the mountain? Is this not the area we're supposed to go? Oh, I guess so. I guess it's literally on top of us. How funny. I keep saying that a lot in this game. How funny. It's gotta be saying that shit all the time. What the hell is that? Got some caches in here? I dare you. So cool.
this storehouse had what in it? Three treasures. Okay, found one. Three thousand bucks is always generally welcome. Where's the other one? Not bad. I'll not. I'll never use it. Well, the elephant fight was like a notorious monster, which is why it was difficult. Get off this chicken, man. I'm hard to look around. Is that a basic item? Oh, those are bulletproof vests. Protective boots is what? Slow and stop? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So let's go and see. Phenomenon Intel Training Facility VB. I can't jump back up here. Oh, I can jump down, but not up. All right, so this is likely above where we're currently at. Not below. Can you let me ride a chicken out of here? Oh god, frogs. Everybody for the all-out assault? That's sick. That's sick. What the hell is this? Oh, is this where it is? Cloud, wait a second. No. Security is still active, but I should be able to disable it remotely. One moment. This appears to be a Shinra training facility. One of several in the region. Out here in Gungaga? That's news to me. The official records were curated to remove all mention of them some time ago. They were last used by General Affairs Auditing. The Turks. I've created fake IDs for all of you. Now, shall we see what awaits us inside? Weird. Some of that dank lore. There's gonna be something back here, isn't there? There was not. There's indeed nothing. Oh, this is. It's the same room from the Yuffie DLC. into high-risk situations. Failure is tantamount to death. Even here, act as though your lives are on the line. Without further ado, I'll brief you on your mission. Calm's Bailey has been breached by armed insurgents, allowing hordes of fiends to overrun the town. 
Your military is on site. The enemy is utilizing the chaos to establish a foothold. Our mission is to pinpoint their leader's location and apprehend him as soon as possible. This exercise will begin as soon as you are ready. Good luck. Weird. You fight inside calm? They were faint at best, but I did pick up proto relic readings during that mission briefing just now. So, in other words? In other words, to secure it, you need only lay waste to your simulated enemies. Huh. Wait, is that a huge chest? Complete VR missions by the Turks, various training facilities to extract the encrypted proto relic data. Each mission will utilize your current party. Okay. I don't want don't spoil me, game. Barely saw that. Oh man. Sure. Shinra combat simulator. Okay, okay, okay. Probably with our existing party. Attention all units. Engage the monster threat. Sure. Okay, it's about normal. Are weak to fire? Don't overdo it. I'll fight Tiffany. Fancy a weak end. Land up. Here I go. Got you now. Let's turn up the My God, Kate. You're in good hands now. Are you also friggin' frog? Is everybody a friggin' frog? God damn it. God damn it, bro. This dunk has been a huge pain in my ass. Jesus, dudes. You must be close. Don't let him escape. Y'all are still frogged, okay. Storm is at a white win. Oh, the Thunderclaw. Oh, 
I was almost wishing it was going to be, um, like, in calm. Your leader is in custody. Damn it all. I'll escort him to HQ. Very good work today, partner. Mission complete. Excellent performance. You'll serve us well in the field. The insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company, and it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Ooh. I've made an incredible discovery. Have you? Photo relic? While the image is still quite unstable, the implication is staggering. The proto relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. I really so wonder continue my analysis what there. all this proto relic stuff is leading to. And I have a wild goose chase theory. Um Enter sub mode. Enter enter emote mode. Here's my theory. Do not answer me. I think the proto relic stuff is all leading up to Knights of the Round. Crap about removing the seeds of trouble. Maybe not in this game. Maybe it builds up to something in like the next game. What goes around comes around, as it should. I guess, but the problem is that not everyone in Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be of service. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a funny feeling that eventually it pays off in a way that ties it to Knights of the Round. And actually makes it like a story bit. I would not be surprised. That, that'd be incredibly cool. If the big, all the proto relic stuff is building up towards that. Just gotta go around here. I'm gonna kill these guys real quick. You're up! Do that shit again. You me Damn. Ah! Holy nipples. Let's get this over. Oh, is fucking dead, bro. These guys, if you don't, if you let them get away with shit, you, you die. Damn. You let these dudes get away with stuff and holy shit, you are dead. I'm excited to be in mode now. I finished my thought. This is just going back down there. Okay. Sniff sniff? Oh, the bunnies. Bunnies always hide emeralds and rubies, right?
Yup. Yup. Whoa. What the hell is in here? It's so dark. And this is a great looking environment. Holy shit. Some crazy shit down there, too. Do we ever get back to go to Midgar? Uh, yes. Um... In the next game, there's a revisit to Midgar. It would be in the next game. In this game, no. Midgar's a lot of data that they oh, that they're able to omit in this game because it is, you know, not Midgar. You're a dangerous territory, though. Rare Gagi Gandhi variant detected. Gagi Gandhi. protocol, known best for its distinct fangs. The Gajigan is believed to have migrated to these lands from a faraway continent. There it was revered as a sacred creature and featured in the family crests of royalty. While it's unclear how and why the Gajigandi became established in Gagaga, some suspect it was drawn to the region's Mako deposits. Recent reports suggest the creatures have begun to expand their territory. Their presence has undoubtedly altered the Gagaga ecosystem. And I hope you will assist me in my quest to find out how. How big is Gongaga in the original? Ha! It's nothing. It's like a couple of screens and a blown up reactor with a boss fight. That's it. That's, that's like literally it. No, I'm hearing for you. Let's see. Yes, Deal with that. Save for that. Oh, You're in good hands. Um, they grow in maturity at a pre, pre, uh, reader natural rate. I haven't even heard that word before. Um, and are possessed with a strength far superior to that of the average. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they are waiting to ambush prey will pressure them. I can't see shit, Captain. Gives you the weakness of weapons. Uh, elemental. Elemental fire and ice is very powerful on Cloud. So dark. That was a very impressive showing. So impressive, in fact, that I was able to devise a new combat trial. Oh, for shit. And I was in charge of calibrating its difficulty level. We put a lot of thought into this, so give it a try. Cool cave. Uh, okay, let's get out of here now. God damn, I love the environments in this game so much. It feels like we're on such a friggin' adventure. Enemy skill HP absorb actually works? Really? That does sound really good. I thought HP absorb only worked with with green. Seriously? Wow. Hold on a second. Did I put Kujata on already? Nobody's got Kujata? Oh, oh crap, oh crap. I have acquired a third 
Piece of shit. Oh crap. What's our leveling up looking like? Uh, increased defense by 10% when in Punisher. Prevents income pets at... Let's do that. Great weapons. Um, what's going on with Cloud? Links a materia slot with one more. Oh shit. Defense plus 50? That's insane. Increases the number of available materia slots by one. Available slots. Magic attack by 22. These are getting better. These weapons are certainly getting better. So what do I got to use to get their abilities? I got to use Red 13, I got to use Tifa, and I got to use... Oh, I really got to use Barret. Dog, how have I not learned Charging Uppercut yet? Damn, we should probably be switching characters. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, material and Equipment uh, Party. Edit Party. Party one. Let's do Red and Barret. Party two is Tifa and uh, Tifa and Aerith. Party three is the crazy weirdos. Okay. We've been, we've been on Yuffie and Kate for a while now. You can honestly just swap party members out all the time to just heal them up too. It's kind of funny. Or, um... Or just get the help. Keep it together. Damn it. The bear just get his shit? I think he did. I gotta get rid of the Koopa charm. We don't need this anymore, man. Let's turn you into a tank, Barret. How about that? Tall. What was that? Hurricane. Thank you, dude. Appreciate Hurricane Chris. Uh, Machete, Lazy K, Angel Butler of Time, Odysseus, Liquidus, Doc Echo, one with the music, Daft, Denim Jeans, or Denim Jeans, Flying Thunder. Thanks for the bits, dude. Appreciate it. An actual frog, Omnicide Project, Red Dead Apple, uh, Red 13 Main, V Volf, Riz Tech, Materia Guru, Angry Dwarf, Russ the Big Bus, Skull Man, Plank Nut, Money Money. Also, Lord Hath Mercy, Haptic William, uh, Carla Tog, and Anathel, Glitch of It, Virgil, Jebby Lou, Chris VC, Ken's Crazy, and Desven. Appreciate it, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, what do I need to level up? Lifesaver. Which is actually not terrible in this current situation. Bought all these crocodile bracelets. What about the witch one? Actually not awful. The magic defense down does suck, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hold on. I'll take that, you red. So that red can get... Oh, you need some shit on you. The 
It's just tossing this magnify materia around. More things down here I can use too. I'm gonna take off wind. Yo, PP10, thank you very much, dude. Swap. We gotta try this. This enemy skill HP absorb. This is like the new uh the new it thing to do. So attack power plus 20, which is a lot. Precision defense focus material earrings. Oh. Let's give you more defense red. We got something that was like vitality plus five, ten percent more. Let's go with that. The bulletproof vest. All right. Um, where were we looking? <clears throat> got some crazy ass fights up here. Let's go do that. I'm actually really digging this zone. It's it's a massively different vibe than the rest of the game. What I like is that they, they took what is essentially the brownest place you could possibly go, <clears throat> and they contrasted that with the most lush forest environment you could have. Because the grasslands did not have much forest. There wasn't really that many trees. So like right after, they're like, hey, here's a jungly ass, like, tropical jungle. I see bunnies. Dead. Bunnies and their emeralds. You have a flag and a chocobo. It's a costume. Whoa! That was... Whoa! You can just find these in the ground? You just find these in the ground? Oh my god, that's dangerous, bro. <clears throat> That's dangerous that these can be found just around? Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess we did earlier in the game, too. We found some of, like, the toys in the ground. Which is scary to me because those are big collectibles. You know? Little Chicky, where are you going? Let's see. I might have to go get something to drink, chat. Thirsty. I'm thirsty, and it's already past midnight. So sick. Whoa. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Velociris detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. Farmers have long employed the Velociris as a source of agricultural labor. Velociris? Numbers have dwindled over time, and in the chaos following the Gungaga reactor accident, the few remaining Malosaurus escaped and went completely feral. Although these herbivores tend to have a rather calm disposition, some have been spotted traveling in herds and attacking other animals. This change is likely due to Mako exposure, and I suspect it's only one of many abnormal developments. Please exercise caution during your investigation. Take 
Oh no, do I have nobody that has assessed? Crap, sorry. This is so bogus, I have to get assess. This is so bogus. Sorry, I need to I need to ass ass for the enemy skill. Automatically become pressured after using certain attacks. They will begin to heal themselves with concentrate when their stagger gauge gets high, but this can be interrupted by hitting them with two powerful offensive abilities. What in the hell was that? No, no, no. Deal So you got this under control. You have to hit him with two big things here. Keep it together. Hang back. It's on what? you. Oh god. Watch and learn. Big cop. You got this. Come on. Get up. This. Ah. I haven't even staggered him yet. No, oh, this is not working out. How do I become pressured after using certain attacks? They'll begin to heal themselves with Concentrate when their stagger gauge gets high. This can be interrupted by hitting them with two powerful offensive abilities. Okay. So the ones I used were not uh, were not powerful enough. Apparently. Not powerful enough. Two big hitting ATB moves. That hurts. That'll do it. Don't stop now. You ain't gonna get away. Plus the ball. Damn, Cloud, 6,900 damage. Damn, bro. Good lord. All right. 69, dudes. What are we looking at over here?
two treasures. Fanned one. piercing grenades oh my seems dangerous so we got some lily pads leading to some crazy shit over here i don't know what the hell's going on let's uh first do this or not dog what i gotta find a way to get to this excavation site Like it's not as easy. I can't see shit, Captain. I can't see shit. All right, so the lily pad for sure. Oh my God! What the hell is this place? Yo, holy crap! This was on the way to the reactor. Cool. I'll just head in this general direction. I guess. Huge zone. Have we even been here? We haven't. What is this place? Oh, hi, creatures. Don't overdo it. so crazy. Okay, we become gods when I activate that. It's like a, a, a hyper haste for everybody. What is that? Just these dudes again. Damn, this place looks great. some wild chicken jump over here, but we have a fight in the other direction. I'm assuming this wild chicken jump is going to lead us to this. Making a crazy assumption. This is cool. Mean green mother. I smell fiends. Rare red flower variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It's not uncommon for the fright flower's germination period to last several decades. Once it sprouts, however, the plant grows at an astonishing rate, fully maturing in a fraction of the time. Adult fright flowers sink their fangs into unsuspecting animals that draw too close, draining their blood or supping on their flesh. The carnivorous plant is frightening in itself, but the worst part is. I'm sorry, but the details are far too gruesome for me to share. Please exterminate this pest before you learn the truth firsthand. 
Kill it before it kills you. Defeat the enemies before they fully evolve. want to do here and yeah, those ATB staggers leveled up real quick okay damn that is a short time weakness is ice inflicting enough damage will pressure it stagger it quickly to prevent a growth spurt She was hyping that thing up and they just died. Oh, we can climb up these things. Already been here? Get on the chicken. I don't want to go down there. That's not what I want. Is it? No. Dude, what? There we go. What am I looking at? A crucible bracer. Yo, what? And we can also transmute a witch's armlet. Nice. Or an enhanced one. Good. Full throttle wrist guards and a riot vest? A Cetra talisman? Oh, uh, what are we talking about here, dude? What are these things? <laughs> what are these things and what do they do? Hey, we got the thing we needed. I can't make this adrenaline because I need planets and Percy. Enhanced witch's armlet. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really good. Dang. That is really good.
crap. The Mind Flayer Crown. I gotta steal that from him at some point? Let me go back and fight him and morph into something? Talisman of Focus. Oh! Oh my god, dude. Did Tifa already have these? Oh my god, dude. No, Tifa has the Supernatural Wrist Guards and we can upgrade them right now. Damn, that's really good. Damn. Okay. What's Cloud setting on with this champion belt? Strength by 10%? Well, that's like 300. But red is definitely getting something better than bulletproof vest. A riot vest. Damn, 5k health on red now. That's nuts. Oh, speaking of red, oh, you still haven't gotten your thing in here. Yeah, the amethyst collar. One right here. My turn. That's it. Deal with that. You're up. You ready? Yeah. Ah. Catch, sleep it. house okay can I fast travel back to here I did I missed something over here too I love this goddamn game I love it I friggin love it Reagan, love it. And here's what's crazy, it can only get better. It can only get better with some patches, and it can only get better with... like a PC version. It can only get better. Somebody was saying the same shit, although they might have- they might have said what I said. Uh... Where it was on Twitter, and I got a bunch of folks talking about it. Now, this doesn't feel like a Square Enix game. It feels like a Squaresoft game. It feels like something that came from the PS1 slash SNES era. Has that kind of a feel. Or early PS2 era. It feels like a Squaresoft game. I think I was saying that in like the first or second day and it's like other people have echoed the exact same sentiment. Feels like a- like it's got the soul of a classic R RPG. That's the- that's a good way of putting it. Next game's gonna be gas. Hope this sells well. Apparently it didn't do super great in Japan. Um, but... It was the number two best-selling game in Europe and the US. On PlayStation... F on PS5, right? The number, the, the number two best-selling game. Guess what was the number one best-selling game for February, chat? It was... Helldivers. Of course, Helldivers was number one, because it sold like five million copies or some, some shit insanely fast. Uh, so Helldivers 2 is number one. FF7 was right after that at number two. Guess how many days FF7 got to chart for that, that spot? Guess how many days FF7 was uh, available on the market for it to get number two next to Helldivers? One day. <laughs> it was... It came out the 29th. It was one day. 
and it got the second best-selling game on all of PlayStation uh, in EU and NA. Which is like, oh shit, okay. Well, that's a good sign. You're not beating Helldivers. Helldivers is like a massive cultural phenomenon right now. Uh, you ain't beating Helldivers, dude. Yeah, and to be real, a lot of, uh, a lot of what's happening in Japan with the console market has been progressively just worse and worse and worse. Console games are just not doing even as good as they were doing when Remake came out. Whoa, dog. What? Wow. Okay then. We're back here. Except Nintendo. But to be real, Nintendo's technically classified as handheld. Right? Nintendo's classified as handheld, I'm pretty sure. Seems to be doing fine in most regions. Uh, mobile and handheld uh, dominate the hell out of Japan. They are absolutely dominated by it. PlayStation as a brand just isn't nearly as big in in in, uh, in in Japan as it used to. Unless you're Nintendo. Pretty much, unless you're Nintendo. Let's check one down over here. Consoles kind of fell off hard. Yeah. Yeah, Dragon Quest historically has been bigger in, J in Japan than Final Fantasy, for sure. I don't know if it's the same anymore. Yo, Oalaz and Pumacho, Torp, Darth Zamo, Aurelios, Orbin, Nyla, Furios, uh, Blackie Grit, 666, Azrael Prime, and Neohara. Appreciate it, everybody. That's true, that number was just physical. Yeah, that's true. That number was... What did you hide over here? Is this gonna be like a Play Arts figure? Six grand is fine. Six grand hidden in a ditch is fine with me. Uh, all right, dude. So what haven't we explored in Gongaga? Uh, Proto Relic number two is up here. Damn, you're telling me that all of this shit is explorable? God damn. And there's a ton of stuff over here. God damn. So this gets into the ruins. You know? There's this weird ass, like, ancient ruins over here now. Uh, send me to this fight. Send me over here. Yo, spear calf, thank you. Yeah, okay. This fight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, don't kill yourself. It's too effing dark, bro. Yeah, I wish we can zoom out to see the whole map, I really do. Yo, Mo Shizzle, thanks for the prime. Am I gonna be able to avoid this fight? music though. Chocobo, uh, like jungle chocobo theme. Oh yeah, no, sometimes the, uh, sometimes the lighting is actually messed up in, in the day. Yeah, where the, the, uh, it, uh, if, if it feels like sometimes the, the daytime environments look washed out, I would turn down the brightness. I actually reset the brightness of the game back to zero, because if you, if you turn up brightness in this game specifically, it will wash out the image. It just desaturates most of the image. It's kind of weird. That's not working, you know, specifically great. We found that out from like the first day of streaming the game and I was like, man, 
these grasslands look nice, but they definitely look like washed out. And then I turned the brightness all the way down and it looked better. The problem is you just get really dark areas like this every once in a while. Yeah, now the lighting, the, this game exudes some of the, the coolest looking lighting that I've like ever seen in a game. Some amazing looking areas and locations and character lighting. And other times it's like really harsh, right? Other times it's just not nearly um, that great. Some of the environmental lighting is a little too dark at times. And you get flashbang. That, that's, that's, that's a typical UE4 thing though. The flashbang is not unique to this game. Okay, I guess I'm going over here. Yeah, the lighting during sunset is gorgeous. I'm actually kind of not wanting to do all the quests in this area and move forward a little bit because I want to see if I can come back here at a different time of day. One of the things that has prevented me from wanting to uh, continue doing all the Corel quests, because Corel at, at nighttime is like, or I'm sorry, at sunset is gorgeous. Definitely, I mean, I would be shocked if they did, but going to UE5 for the third game makes no sense. If anything, it would make the next game take even longer to make. It'll probably be a heavily modified UE4. Alright, um, let me go over here. What if they did? It probably wouldn't help the game out that much, to be real. Oh god. Yeah, just making a game on UE5 and having it work is not as smooth of a process as you would think it is. There's just not a ton of games, and FF, this is a very complex game. Chances of part three being PS6, uh, close. We're already more than halfway done with PS5. So, another three to four years, part three comes out. I mean, I don't want to talk about part three too much. Another three to four years, part three comes out, and yeah, that would be around when the PS6 is happening. Oh. There's stuff in here. That's behind the wall. Cross-gen, most likely. I mean, if PSX is not cross-gen, that would be a problem. I think Sony has to adopt that. That is just the way it is. Oh, there's a frog in here. Goddamn. That's a flower. It was a flower. Come on, man. I know you're in this corner. And again, games like Horizon and um, games that are like really good looking like Spider-Man and stuff like that, they have something much different than, than Square Enix. Uh, they have first party Sony money. And first party Sony, uh, I'd say, t you, you have to think of like engineering support, to kind of like unlock the capability of the system through Sony devs, like in-house Sony devs. That's the, that's the big difference. And that is a substantial difference from, like, a lot of third-party guys that have to make their games for multiple consoles and stuff like that. Uh, what? Is that it right there? Aerith, I'm trying to... No? 
are certainly not helping with this game. Um, so there's a difference. There, there is a difference between exclusivity. You piece of. There's a difference between an exclusivity agreement and being first party. Those, those are different things, chat. My God, I. Of course, this is annoying. It's up there. Son of a bitch. Why is it up there? There's a, there's a difference. Like th this is like Square's getting a getting a check, right? Like a big check from Sony to only put it out on their system. Being first party is like you get full like development support. Enhanced Outlaw Bangle. That's interesting. Yeah, this is like... This, the, these are... Uh, FF7 also, FF7 Rebirth being exclusive to uh, PlayStation for a very short period of time, mind you. Like, the exclusivity of this game is not very long. Is still tied to kind of like an ancient deal that Sony and Square have had, and we kind of learned about that over the past while. Kind of an ancient deal that sort of carried over to now. Yeah, three-month window is pretty small, so it's clear that Square isn't in the business of releasing things only on one console anymore. They don't really want to do that. Yeah, that deal was probably struck back in, like, 2014, 2015. Or something crazy grandfathered in from, like, a decade ago. Because now it's obvious that Square is like, all right, we ain't doing this shit anymore. We need to release, like, day and date with PC. We need to release uh, on Xbox. We need to release on everything. They make more money by it, by it not being exclusive, and it's just better if it's not exclusive. It's just better. Uh, I, got, I can make a ton of stuff now. Still can't make that friggin' adrenaline. Planet Splendor. I'll make one sort of the experience. Ninety XP for the Crucible Bangle. Enhanced Outlaw Bangle. Uh what was the Outlaw Bangle? Wait, what? Do I have that? I have the crocodile. Oh, shit. Don't mind if I do. Marlboro Orb. Great Marlboro Tendril. Extends duration of detrimental status effects to foes. Reduces duration of effects when inflicted on the wearer. That's pretty good. Quest to Codal Talon. Okay, I probably have to steal that or some shit. Look at this place. Yeah, to be frank, I, I would be interested in, in playing FF16 again. But I have a catch. It needs to be on PC. Um, there has to be not a lot of other stuff happening. And I need to be able to skip every piece of dialogue in that game. Every story bit. Skip through it and get me to the combat. And then I'm actually down. I did it once, man. I'm not, I'm not skipping just side quests. I'm skipping at main quests, if I can. I'm skipping literally all dialogue. Legend holds that each time Kujata appears before humans, it takes on a different form. It's been seen wreathed in raging flame, cloaked in chilling ice, and bathed in crackling lightning. For this reason, the people of Gungaga have worshipped it as an embodiment of nature itself for generations. Wait. Whoa, I thought I was going to go much higher. Again. Keep it together. About damn time. Just 
Point of blank, huh? Jesus Christ, Garrett. Stay down, asshole. No, I love Final Fantasy 16. I love the gameplay. Um, I have... I actively dislike its world. It is like the bleakest game I think I've played in a really long time. It's so bleak. Hater is a... I have, I have uh, criticisms is what I have, but I, I enjoyed it at least. That is really fucking bright right here. The problem is, is that I'm going to stop talking about Final Fantasy 16 right now uh, because you can't have any conversations about Final Fantasy 16 because there is no middle of the road arguments for the game. I try to propose a middle of the road argument and people either say, you'll love it, I love it, or I absolutely hate it and you're a hater. So this is the issue. Um, that the game is extremely polarizing. And it's so polarizing that there's no effective arguments, conversation, or takes that come across as one way or the other. They're either you hate it or you're a shill and you like it. It's so I just I just don't want I just don't want to talk about it. Straight up. It's just a game that makes me not even want to engage in conversation about it. I just, and I just said, I want to play it again, and it's like, but you're a hater. It's like, whoa. Okay, bro. Okay. This place is getting all crazy in here. That's every Final Fantasy? That is not true. Hell no, man. Not nearly to the degree of 16. I'd say it's even more aggressive than fucking 15. Which is- which is wild. Just reading some of the stuff people have had for that shit. At least with 15, it's like, it makes sense because, yeah, launch version of that game is balls. It is. Launch version of that game is not good, and it's missing a lot. Um, but I- whenever I talk about my- my affinity for it, it's not the launch version, it's the royal version. That makes the game way better. Like, way better. And that was my first impression of the game. Or my first playthrough of it. So to me, I was like, this was pretty good. I kind of loved this adventure. People are like, what are you talking about? It was so bad. And like, and they're clearly talking about the launch version. So there is a... There's a disconnect. And that's the problem, is that that game got so much better with a later update. So it's like two different games we're judging here. Yeah, it's like, to me, it was like night and day. When I, when I first fired up 15 when it came out, I was like, I can skip this. <laughs> this game is massively skippable. It's cool. It's neat that we're getting a new Final Fantasy, but holy shit, bro. Uh-oh. Okay. story was lackluster. I, I mean, this, you, I think the storytelling is lackluster. I agree. I think the story is actually really cool in FF15. I think the whole, like, plight of the uh, plight of the father, knowing that they essentially have to sacrifice their son, is really, is a kind of a great captivating story. In the same that way incredible. that, was in my opinion, Final Fantasy 16, with one another. in the same way, like, Final Fantasy 16, at the start has a really captivating story of this guy having to come to terms with the fact that he is responsible for like killing his brother and stuff like first first five six hours of 16 is insanely captivating and then it goes in wild different directions so to me it's like oh god damn like i really really found that enjoyable about that game 
they have really good setups, you know? This was in here. Holy shit, they really had me going into the mountains for this shit. So this is the big fight. The Sultan of Stench, we have to do it. There's a smaller scale fight in here. ba -doink. Holy goddamn. Surprised the game didn't lag up right there. How's it been just exploring? Uh, kind of great. Yeah, I've had a... Th this... This area is very explore heavy. Like, it's literally exploration and figuring out where and how to go. So, I've liked how different it is. It was a lot different than the previous environment, which was just big and open. Alright, what are we doing? There's a fight down there and I can see it, so I want to do it. Would you retry 13? Probably not. Things, huh? That guy looks crazy. This looks like a PSO monster. What do you think about 17? Whoa. Oh, he's pissed. The world needs to know. I hope you'll assist me in the investigation. Um, you know, the thing you can probably anticipate for FF17 is that it will be different. Final Fantasy is always like that. Like, mainline Final Fantasies always try to do something weird and different. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, as much as people are like, oh, do this for FF17, people, everyone wants them to take the Rebirth approach for other Final Fantasies now, if, including remakes. Everyone's like, hey, do what you did in this because this is what everybody wants. And it's like, well, this is a unique case game. Also, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the most unoriginal Final Fantasy, like big mainline Final Fantasy game they've probably ever made. It just takes things from other games and just throws them together in a single game. It literally is the most ununique thing about any of them. But... It does the best things from all these other games and puts them together in a single title, which is something that usually Final Fantasy doesn't do. They try to innovate, right? They try to do... FF16, for as much as you either like or don't like the action RPG part of it, um, was unique. That was a big, like... A big, like, 35 plus 40 hour action game. So it's like, wow, that's kind of crazy. That is... That's not usually how this goes, you know? So it was unique. This game is just, no, we'll take little bits of that, little bit of this, it, it's the most unoriginal game of them all. But because of that, it's great. Because of that, it's like, god damn. Now we're just getting all this shit that, like, hits in all these ways, you know? Let's fight this thing. They made fried rice the game. Exactly. God! Okay. Uh, let's ass-ass this dude, because he seems angry. Allow me. Weakness to fire. Uh, overexposure to Mako and the nearby reactor has brought out a bestial ferocity. It controls plants to restrain its prey. Periodically restrains a target with earthbound. Uh, but these binds can be broken by staggering the creature. Uh, attacking it twice while it's guarding will cause it to counterattack. Although its guard will reflect range attacks, hitting it with powerful abilities will pressure it. Really stuck forever. Come on. 
God damn, bro. Red, it's all up to you. Red. So. Oh no, it was a bound attack, so I couldn't get off of him. All right, all right, all right. This went poorly. Those guys are out. Like, they are literally, like, out. I can't get them back up. We're in dangerous territory now. You Him too? Let's go. Oh shit. Damn. Dude. This this bitch got cooked. This bitch got absolutely cooked. Great job. We've amassed a considerable amount of data on the fiends within the Gungaga region. On Chelly's behalf, allow me to express my gratitude. Mine, I must insist that you not put words in my mouth. Oh, but I am grateful, of course. And to prove it. I have made a new combat trial so that you may test your mind. Of course. A fitting gift, I should think. Um, difficulty spike around this chapter. I definitely noticed the difficulty spike in the Scarlet fight. Scarlet fight was nuts. That fight was tough as shit. I didn't die to it, but it was it was close to being dead. Wait, is there a choco stop over here? What? You found it easy. Were you playing on dynamic? Weird. Yeah, Scarlet fight, which is I might not have been hitting the right targets correctly. I don't know. What is this place? I have to find out. Hello, very dark chicken. I can't see shit. So dark. Yeah, if there's light right there, that ain't right, bro. That light should be reflecting all over the place in here. What are we doing over here? What are we doing? Let's do this. Come on. You've got 
And it heals him? Sick. Dude, are we going into a facility or some shit? No, these doors are always closed. Is this really a dead end over here? How f How weird. Why would it be a dead end? Because it's not. Because it leads up. Yeah, this has been nice where it's like, something is here for a reason. This isn't just here for the sake of being here. It very well might be a part of the proto-relic quest. It's just that I'm here early. Most things are in a place for a reason. What? Okay, we just yeah, naturally came across it. Seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a public telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Huh. Guess I'll just call him in. Pilot Set has to be smoke said. and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Oh yeah. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the Damn, the normal tiny Bronco? Crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> what in tarnation? With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since Not I accurate. don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to your pony up. You're going night night. Mm -hmm. I love you. you. Wanna get down? Okay, can I have a kiss kiss? Thank you. Sweetie. 
Perfect timing. Perfect baby timing. Okay. Um, what if you say no? 1k is really affordable in this economy. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Now I'm assuming, right? I was assuming that maybe if you say no, you just have to hoof it. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. All right, Sid. All right. I must admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. Welcome back to the stage of history. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. Oh, God. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. <laughs> Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are they doing to Roach? So cool. So cool. What? Uh -oh. I'm controlling the ship? Maybe planes would be oh, dude, they're giving us a taste. I see towers and stuff down there. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, chapter 10. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? 
Hmm. <laughs> Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. The veil's this way. Inspect the telephone booth at an airstrip to send up a smoke signal and call the Bronco. After alighting, the pilot will be happy to fly you to any airstrip you have visited before for the right price. The right price will be a thousand gil for your inaugural trip and 300 for subsequent flight. So... You can take us back to Junon. Dang. Dang, dude. Cosmo friggin' Canyon. God damn.